Welcome back, folks. Uh, quick comments today from Bridgewater CIO at the World Economic Forum conference. Um, hope you find them interesting. Let me know in the comments. For those who don't know, uh, Bridgewater is basically owned and has been for many years by a guy named Ray Dalio. Great trader. Uh, it's absolutely huge. And uh, when those guys talk, you should definitely pay attention. So let's get into the comments. Okay, getting into the meat of these comments, again from the CIO, uh, who apparently has been there for more than a quarter of a century, is that you can forget uh, a quick turnaround. Uh, basically, you know, recessions led by high inflation that tend to last longer. Specifically, he's thinking two years. Um, you know, I, I thought the average recession was nine months to 18 months. So, you know, that sounds like it could be anywhere from, you know, 18 months to multiple years. The good thing, he's saying that, uh, you know, because there's a lot less leverage in the system than there was in 2008, it may not be nearly as painful. The other thing you're going to have to keep in mind is that uh, even when we come out of this recession, whenever that is, you know, a year, two years, three or worse, um, there are societal changes in the West, especially, but, you know, U.S. is reflective of it, um, such as, you know, aging of the population, uh, broader demographic changes, uh, let much fewer births and a very high debt load that are all going to weigh on growth. So we may be more like Japan and uh, the EU has been in recent years, which is around by that 2% growth rate, which is not great for earnings growth. So something to keep in mind. Uh, high growth uh, businesses, uh, if they can actually produce, will be you know, many multiples paid for on their stock, and many companies might struggle to grow. Oh, and by the way, this guy's name is Greg Jensen, and he's just the co-CIO. So if I misspoke, apologies. Um, he's calling for mixed inflation reports in 2023, meaning up and down um, for various reasons. I'll get into one specific one uh, shortly. That's actually contradicting what the Wall Street banks like Goldman Sachs are calling for, which is a sharp decline uh, in inflation, consistent decline. So something to pay, uh, pay in mind. But this guy... He called uh, for high, much higher inflation before anybody else was calling for it. So somebody you should pay attention to. Uh, and the other thing is because of this up and down inflation, uh, he doesn't see a bottom in risky assets yet. So don't go bottom fishing uh, at this point. Uh, another thing, you know, we mentioned in mixed inflation he spoke about. Well, one of the reasons it's going to be the case is because of China reopening and demand is going to surge for various products, including raw materials, and that will push uh, you know, prices for those materials higher. And so that will have an impact on other buyers like uh, the U.S. and EU as they compete for those resources. So something to keep in mind, Mr. Jensen is actually calling for uh, possibly considering cash as your best option now. Of course, you could always, you know, he's a hedge fund guy, so you could always go short. So this guy's final conclusion uh, in his speech was apparently that he was recommending maybe cash as the best option. Of course, there are other options you could look at if you wanted to be long uh, stocks, buying staples, um, energy, commodities, that kind of stuff. Um, if you wanted to, uh, you know, as I've said previously, you know, look at being short the dollar, that's U.S. dollar, um, and buying bonds, that's another option, but you might have to hang on to bonds, according to this guy, a little longer than maybe the original plan. Um, all things you can look at. Anyway, I hope that uh, covering this guy, Greg Jensen from Bridgewater, was interesting. If you found it interesting and like macro trading content, uh, definitely uh, subscribe, like, comment, tell me what you think and how I can make it more useful uh, and better for your time. Thanks much. Have a great day.